have here in my hand the Grip and Rip Racing Skidoo XP, XR, XS, and XM suspension module brace and upper A arm brace. One of the first steps to installing the Grip and Rip Brace Kit is to remove the hood and air box. Tools needed to perform this installation are screwdriver and Torx, T handled spring puller, magnet. 17 mil wrench, 10 mil wrench, 15 mil wrench, 16 mil wrench, ratchets, sockets and extensions, 3 16 and 1564 drill bits, rivet guns, and a customized wrench. Prior to removing the springs for the exhaust, use a 17 mil wrench to loosen and remove the exhaust sensors on both the expansion pipe and the muffler. Put a rag around your exhaust sensors and tuck them somewhere where they won't be damaged. Next use a T-handle spring puller, notch screwdriver or shoelace to remove the springs on the exhaust pipe. In order to remove the muffler you must remove the screw give you enough room to pull the muffler out. I've already removed both shocks. The next step is to remove the upper A-arm bolts. Don't lose this. Next, remove this bolt. Next, you're gonna drill the holes one at a time and put the rivets in place. crappy uh, hand one. Let's see how that works. Yowch. Pair of gloves comes in handy if you're using this one. My drill wouldn't fit for the last hole, so I decided to cut a drill bit to make it fit. Make sure to reinstall the washer behind here. Put the A-arm back in place. Remove the washer off of the bolt for the A-arm. You're going to replace that with the grip and rip bracket. It's like that. And slide this in to the A-arm. Don't forget about the washer that we removed before that's behind. And we're going to get everything back in position here. Because my drill won't fit and I don't have a right angle drill small enough, I'm going to mark the location of this hole here with a sharpie. Sure, got a good mark on there. And then I'm going to remove the bolt, drill the hole, and reinstall it. I'm going to use a 15th 64 bit to drill the final hole.
once you've drilled the hole, you go ahead and reassemble everything and put the final nut and bolt on. And you're done. And that is the finished product. Okay, we got both sides installed now. That didn't take very long at all. And it uh, was actually pretty easy. I'll show you the other side. Looks good. We got the shocks back on now. Getting ready to install the module suspension brace underneath. Looks good. Now that I've installed the grip and rip racing upper A-arm brace kit and reinstalled the shocks on this 2016 free ride, I'm ready to move on and install the suspension module brace kit underneath the sled. One of the first steps is to protect your exhaust sensors because you're going to flip the sled on its side and you don't want them bouncing around and getting knocked or causing any damage. I've zip tied this one to the bumper and the muffler one to the oil. Okay, we've got the sled propped up on its side. Used a tire and uh, the 2x4 in the footwell. Uh, got a bunch of foam and some rags in there just to make sure uh, you don't scratch the sled. And uh, on this side, just kind of put a chair in there. That should hold everything in place. Uh, it helps if you have a friend that uh, can lend a hand. Makes it a little bit easier. We'll get started now on installing this suspension module brace. It's good to feel how tight everything is too. You'll notice that a wrench doesn't fit in here. You can use a screwdriver, but I opted to just grind this wrench down. We're gonna make it fit. There's the finished product with the wrench. Now we're going to tighten the rear bolts first. Lots of room for tools in here. I like the new redesigned brace. Brace secured with the two rear A-arm bolts in place, but not uh, tightened down. Look at that. That's There's the shot right here on this side. Even the front fits the side. Think about how they make a small little part, right?
I'm going to wrap this with some tape so it doesn't go very far in. Should do it. down here so I'm going to use the bigger rivet gun to save my hands. We got it. We're all done.